Hey guys, it's been quite a while. Um, finally on Christmas break, did all my homework a couple of minutes ago. Not a couple, like 20 minutes ago or something like that. Um, finally on holiday break, and uh, I'm finally making a video, I guess. And um, here's something railroad related, unlike all my fluid animations and all that stuff. Um, we have a classic L and N signal, I think from the early 70s. This is, except for the motor bell, I think this is a 50s, based on U.P. King. Uh, sorry for the mispronunciation. I'm not really good right now uh, at pronouncing. Um, anyways, here we have an L and W bass. Uh, I think these are still made today, but this is, like, much wider. Like, this, this bass is not even accurate. This was made in, like, this was made in, like, two minutes. This is, like, inaccurate. So... Pretty big base. Uh, screws are okay, but need more detail and all that stuff. But it's a pretty good base for two minutes. Um, we have a Wabco slash Union Switch and Signal Division Bracket. They did actually make a division once because uh, I have these uh, Wabco slash Union Switch and Signal Division um, brackets all over uh, where I live on the local BNSF line. They have a lot of these, but signals are slowly getting replaced. But there's one particular area is keeping them. Even though one of the bells is like completely dead, they still haven't replaced it. And all the working bells have been replaced with uh, GS Type 3 electronic bells. I find that weird. Anyways, here we have these uh, knockoff safe tran lights. These don't even look like safe trans. I just tried to make these. These were like, I made these as quick as possible. Brack brackets are okay, but are like very low polygonical and stuff. This, these clamps, oh, inside the pole. It's not really hollow, it's just uh, the frame and stuff. Uh, not the frame, uh, I don't know how to say it, but anyways, these were pretty hard to make. Um, this, um, yeah, like I said, this was kind of hard to make. Um, took about 20 minutes to figure it out. It's not really even, as you can see. Uh, still need to work on that. Like I said, this was made in nine hours. No, I haven't said that. This was made in nine hours. Um, so, the whole uh, thing, it's pretty good for nine hours, but I need to put some reflectors inside so it looks even better. Anyways, here's the crossbuck. Now these clamps again. These were made in like two minutes. So, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't even try. I was so tired to that point. And last but not least, uh, I've been working on this belt for about a uh, couple days, and I uh, just decided to stick a box on the back to make it a WRS motor belt. It really isn't one, though, because the, uh, it has a latch and bevel issues right here. Um, I do not know how to fix that. I'm going to ask my friend, though, who knows Blender. And the um, box basically goes through the bell, as you can see. But the gong, I think it's thin. Is the gong thin? Yeah, it's, it's just thinned out all right. Bolt's not there yet. So you need to, like, I think if I auto smooth, that should, that, that looks a lot better, okay. So we have the rain shield over here, very simple. It's meant to look like a WRS bell, but like I said, the latch is not here based on UP King. Like he made a video about his uh, WRS motor bell. I'm sure to make this to look as similar as possible, but this was gonna, originally going to be a Western Colin Hayes, but I just slapped the box on the back, and uh, I need to fix this. Anyways, uh, y'all have been waiting for me to turn on the signal, so let's do that. It's pretty realistic otherwise than the flashing, you know? The flashing is a bit off. As you can see, this light fades r really quickly, and these ones are like... It's okay, but the loop isn't perfect. And there's also lighting issues, as you can see. It does reflect, and this looks pretty good. Oh, never mind. It doesn't look good. Um, it shines through the back, but like I said, this is made in nine hours, so... My favorite part is these tilted lights. They look so amazing. I just love the angle. The brackets are, like, really long, so... Anyways... I haven't added sound to the bell, and uh, I should make a really box next. What do you guys think? What should I make next in uh, Blender? Um, anyways, yeah, the bell doesn't have audio. I still need to figure that out. Sadly, it does not turn off or fade. Um, this is only a loop. I need to make a gate mechanism next if I can. Attach it to the pole, 
and then it could lower and raise, but I need to learn how to make the lights repeat other than copying the keyframes because that's going to be a pain in the butt. By the way, did I mention there's no scripting required for this? This automatically scripts it itself. Um, right over here, look at this. Um, where are the point lights? So, hang on, let me just get inside the lights. There's basically nothing in here. It's, it's really hollow. Um, here the light, for example. See, there, there are these keyframes. And um, these keyframes can be placed using the... You guys can't see this, sadly. I don't, I don't think it's not visible on screen because my video recorder is not that great. Um, there's a side tab over here where you, where you go would go into uh, object data properties. And then to the, click on the point light, which is like this little thing. You can like you add it by like going like this, light, and then point light sun. I'm using point light for now. You can adjust the color, power, and wattage. For example, you see these keyframes here. If I like... You know, see it's going on. Th these two turn it on, and this th these two turn it off. So it's basically like a loop. For example, if I uh, like move this like this, for example, look. See, these will not cynic as well. However, if I put it like this, these are cynicking again. Sinking, sorry. Uh, these are relaying again. Um, this signal is just pretty random, but I enjoyed making this and. Let me know what else I should make. I have one more project to show you guys. Um, it involves construction. Mm, let's open the... Okay, let's save this. Um, let's go to... Um, where was it? Barricade. Yeah, here we go. Um, some construction barricades I made. The, this uh, These lighting properties. These are not that great. But look at this. This is just amazing. Full realism right here the reflectors I, I sadly do not have textures but this is this looks really realistic and reflects off the metal and stuff like i said i need to add textures this was the, my first light light uh, operation and stuff like you know these are mutual industries barricade lights i just found the manual online and then i just copied the thing i could just make a really quick construction cone right now just for y'all um i just grab this mesh cube you know, all that good stuff. I can scale it down like this. You color it orange, I forgot about that. Oh, come on. Uh, I'm trying to make it as quickly as possible so I don't occupy the video by talking a lot. Um, about the size of this, I guess they're, they are. And I go into the modifier tab and I add bevel, which should actually Darn it, I need light, I need light. Um, let's turn on the light real quick. Um, where is it? Hmm, okay, we do not have light, I guess. Um, let me add one real quick. Um, sun. So this should, yeah, th this is a lot better. This is a lot better. Okay, so we have the cone right here, as you can see. I'm just gonna grab it, subdivide it, subdivide it, subdivide it some more. And then, uh, around here, I'm just gonna grab all these uh, things you know if I can uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to make the cone guys um, oh come on we missed that one point anyways I'm gonna extend upward like this doesn't look much like a cone but best I could do so basically yeah, here we have a simple construction cone just need to color it orange and then scatter these all over the place. That looks pretty good, but not that great. I mean, pretty good for like 30 seconds, I guess. But, hey, let, let me just add one more. It's like right over here or something. I should have put sidewalk closed signs on these. This would be pretty cool. You need to make a sidewalk. Like I said, still learning textures. A little bit of wear over here. These, these, the barricades themselves were only made in about ten minutes, and the lights took me about four to five hours. That's how detailed it is. I had a lot of rendering issues. Like the, this would not cooperate and all that stuff. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention that these lights actually do flash. So, um, let's let's activate it. 
these are kind of different. I, tr I sped this one up a little bit, so they had, like, some, uh, you know... Again, it is a loop. It is a loop, like I said. Um, this one's yellow colored. They, I think these are more rare. I don't really see them today since these are like more old fashioned, but they, they now use the orange barricade lights. Uh, seen them on the road. The, the, one of these, uh, one, I've never seen um, this type color though, but I've seen this color for sure. It's kind of nice how they like fade off, you know, and like within the frames. For example, I grab the frame kind of they do kind of fade the lights do fade off a little bit just just a little bit not that much see kind of does fade anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one bye bye